going to share a lovely verse with you today from the Old Testament. It's from the book of Isaiah. And it's a promise that God really spoke to me through a number of years ago, back in 1999. As a matter of fact, Isaiah 58 verse 11. And I really believe it will encourage some of you that are listening on today. The text reads, And the Lord shall guide thee continually, and satisfy thy soul in drought, and make fat thy bones. And thou shalt be as a watered garden, as a spring of waters, whose waters fail not. Let me read the verse again, or quote the verse again. Isaiah 58, 11, And the Lord shall guide thee continually and satisfy thy soul in drought make fat thy bones and thou shalt be as a watered garden and like a spring of water whose waters feel not we are living in days of spiritual drought but the lord is able to satisfy the souls of his people the lord is able to strengthen us and the lord is able to make us fruitful in our walk and in our fellowship with him but the first part of the verse says the lord shall guide thee continually and it's wonderful to be able to testify to the guidance and the leading of god in your life and as i said many many years ago over 20 years ago the lord really impressed this promise upon my heart and the promise has held good over the last 20 or 21 years the lord has guided his people and the lord has led and guided me and i'm so thankful to the lord for his guidance the lord shall guide thee continually just a few things i want to say today about the guidance of our god first of all it's personal guidance the lord shall guide thee it's not just that the lord uses uh, men to give us advice but the lord gives guidance men can give good advice but only the lord can give real clear guidance he doesn't even send his angels first and foremost he gives his angels charge over us but the lord himself promises to guide his people it's personal guidance and that's why it's so special for the christian the lord shall guide thee notice secondly that it is positive guidance and the lord shall guide thee the lord shall guide thee there's no mistaking it the lord guides his people that's what he does he promises to do that the lord shall guide thee we don't need to doubt if or when the lord will guide us he promises to guide us he promises to direct us the lord shall it's personal guidance it's positive guidance but it's also particular guidance the lord shall guide thee doesn't matter who we are or where we're from what our background is doesn't matter what our intellectual capabilities are what our financial uh, standing is if we belong to the savior and we're redeemed by precious blood the lord promises to particularly guide you maybe you're looking for guidance in these days where do i turn what do i do how do i make ends meet well the lord promises to be our guide personally positively particularly and also perpetually the lord shall guide thee continually we're not able to meet together in god's house but that doesn't change who the lord is that doesn't alter his promises at all the lord is able to guide us in times of barrenness and times of drought the lord is able to guide us whenever we're on the mountain or whenever we're in the valley the lord is able to guide us in the wilderness the lord is able to guide us in the bustling metropolis god is able to guide us in times of leanness and in times of fatness god is able to guide us by day or by night as he guided the children of israel by a pillar of fire by night and a pillar of cloud by day right into the promised land so god our lord is able to guide us in a similar fashion continually right throughout life's journey by day and by night until at last we stand in the promised land in the celestial city and we see our savior face to face what a lovely lovely promise the lord shall guide thee continually and shall satisfy thy soul in drought and make fat thy bones and thou shalt be as a watered garden 
and like a spring of water whose waters fail not. Prove the promise for yourself. Pray it. Guide me, O thou great Jehovah, and you will be able to look back and say, The Lord has guided me continually. This God is our God. He shall be our guide, even unto death. God bless you all.